Harvey Keenan, what's your, uh, your, your role in uh, this Memorial Day presentation at Valley Beth Shalom in Encino, California? Oh, actually, I am the one that uh, puts it all together uh, with the permission of uh, Rabbi Ed Feinstein, who's the chief rabbi at Temple Valley Beth Shalom. I know everyone's wearing those uh, Wings Over Wendy's hat. They seem to be in fashion here. Yeah, I'm, I'm an honorary member of Wings Over Wendy's and I'm proud to be that. And uh, yeah, so it, we started this six years ago. We started it six years ago and um, every year we honor all vets and I try to focus in on a different uh, group of vets every year. One year we did uh, Wings Over Wendy's, one year we did Jewish War Veterans, one year we did uh, Father and Son uh, Veterans. I had a Lieutenant uh, General and his son, a Lieutenant Colonel in the Air Force. Uh, one year we did a group called Machal, which is uh, oh, volunteers. Ma Machal with a p flew in the American Air Force and then volunteered for the Israeli Air Force, yeah. and uh, we honored them. Um, every year we do a different uh, group, and this year we featured female vets, and we had a great, great day today. We had Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Dina DeLucia from Riverside was here, and we had Sharon Stone from the... Um, Bob Hope Patriotic Hall, all, and we had a gal by the name of Rebecca Adams, all veterans, uh, speaking about their experiences uh, in, in the military. So this year we were honored and once again to honor female vets, and that's what I do. <laughs> well, this is a once a year event. Do you do anything uh, during the course of the year? During the course of the year, I'm a veterans advocate. For example, I will send veterans who have questions to Mark Thurston who was just here, and he helps them out. Uh, I, I collect clothing and, and uh, <clears throat> all sorts of outerwear and all sorts of underwear and socks, which I bring up to the Sepulveda Veterans uh, store, to the store. There's a store up there that supplies the veterans uh, all of these uh, things for free. And um, I'm also involved in the Faith-Based Advocacy Council, which is an offshoot of the Department of Mental Health, where we... Um, work on uh, homeless, and I work especially on homeless vets, helping to help homeless vets. So that's my passion, and that's what I do. What do you get uh, psychologically from uh, this activism you do? I get a sense of fulfillment. I get a sense of purpose. Uh, I get a sense of uh, um, feeling good about my fellow f soldier, uh, who has given their lives and their limbs for our country, and I think they're very special, and it just fills my heart to be able to do something uh, to uh, enlighten the community and to uh, help them um, be, be respected for what they've done. So that's 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 what I that's what I enjoy doing. Nice. Is there a sense of uh, support for the families? I think there is. Uh, the groups like Wings Over Wendy's, really especially, uh, have formed a fraternal, and there are some females in their fraternal, uh, almost like a fraternal society. They reach out, help each other, and I, I think that all vets like to be with other vets and their families. They have a mutual uh, understanding of what they've been through, so they enjoy being with each other. What kind of support do you get from the synagogue? in doing these things? Well, um, the rabbi is very helpful, uh, allowing me the freedom to organize this and do pretty much what I want to do. Um, and um, we have a committee on homeless vets in the synagogue, too, that reaches out, trying to get housing for homeless vets uh, within the synagogue. That 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 is run by Rabbi uh, Farkas, who is, is, is a little is a younger rabbi. Rabbi Feinstein is our chief rabbi, and he is very much in favor of all anything we can do to help the vets. So right behind us, there's a, it looks like, he looks like a World War II vet. Could he be? Yeah, he's 100 years old. And that's why he's sitting. <laughs> that's why he's sitting. <laughs> I'd be sitting too if I was 100 years old. I would be glad if I was standing, if I was 100 years old, or breathing. <laughs> 